Welcome back everybody. Hope you're all well. I get asked a lot about my Fetonias, so I thought I'd do um, a Fetonia care tips video for you today. The, um, the Fetonia, it's also known as the nerve plant. Um, it's native to South America and it gets the name nerve plant because of the brightly coloured veins. I really like them because there's lots of different varieties, all different colours and they're quite compact as well. So I'm just going to show you a couple of my Fetonias. I think I've got five different ones. As you can see the colours are quite vibrant and that's because I keep my Fetonias on a really bright windowsill. So they can tolerate a range of light conditions, so they can tolerate medium light and even low light I think, but the brighter spot that you put them in, the brighter the colours are going to be. In regards to watering, I just water my Fetonias as required. I find they will look a little bit droopy when they need a drink and I probably water them maybe two to three times a week. They seem to be quite thirsty. I've got them in well-draining soil and that's a mix of um, compost, peat moss and perlite. I also use room temperature filtered water to water and mist my Fetonias. I mist them maybe two or three times a week because they like um, high humidity and warm temperatures. If your Fetonias are too cold, they will drop their leaves. So it is really important to keep them away from drafty areas or any cold windowsills or anything like that. My windowsills, they're really well sealed, so um, they're not cold or drafty. If you're getting um, yellow leaves on your Fetonia, this could mean that you're overwatering it. I haven't had any yellow leaves on mine actually, so I'm probably underwatering mine rather than overwatering, which I think is the better option because they'll just kind of wilt a little bit if they need the water and then you know that they're thirsty and then they always bounce back again. So I've never had any problems with mine and you can see how nice they're looking. This one's grown really big actually. The other issue with Fetonias is crispy dry leaves and that can just be from lack of humidity. So just try and keep them in a humid environment. Have a look at my top 10 tips on how to raise humidity in your home because that can be really useful. Um, also you could get a humidifier. My Fetonias all seem quite happy on this windowsill at the moment and this is a west facing window. So I'll just keep them on here as long as they're happy, I'll just keep an eye on them and see how they do throughout the winter. But so far they've been growing really nicely and I haven't had any issues with them. A lot of people message me on Instagram and they ask, like, how do I keep my petonias looking so nice? Theirs are all crispy and dying and wilting. So hopefully some of the tips I've given you today will help you out with your Fetonias. And yeah, let me know. Have you got a Fetonia? How's it doing? Have you had any issues with it? Have you got any tips for anyone else? Um, thanks for watching. Hope it's been useful and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye everybody.